How's it going? How's it going? Good. All right, all right. So another thing that I believe, I believe that men were created to serve female, not like, like um, what I mean is not back breaking labor, but we're, 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 we were created to serve them because they are the weaker, and I wouldn't say subservient, but they are the weaker physically. Now, in here, in here, these bitches are literally planning to take, get everybody else to kill somebody. That's why you don't want to fuck with these bitches, because these bitches will have you murdered. <laughs> or you better be ready to go to war. And it's, it's really not fair. But the thing is, that's how, that's how, like, I think that's how the, how this shit works. Like, men were created to serve women due to the fact that they, they, um, give birth and that, you know, they have, the what do I want to call it they have they have everything already figured out because no matter how many times a woman has sex she's still a woman she still has the same power as any other one does and what I really believe is that you know they can fix heal and heal the internal problems now, some things, you know, people may have to die for, but to heal the internal problems, a lot of internal problems. That's why women know exactly how to piss a man off. They know exactly what to do to cause somebody else some motherfucking problems. And, you know, that's their favorite thing to do is to cause somebody else some motherfucking problems when they don't get their fucking way. Now... The other thing is, I believe that women should hold themselves to a standard and should have some type of maturity and not just the, oh, because I have, a, like, because of what's in between her legs or because of the power that she has to give birth and to, you know, change hearts and, you know, to work on men, like individual men or, you know, to, you know, be the comforter, to be like the, like a woman can be like a, a woman or like bottles of water. With the actual plastic bottle. But this bottle is like it's like a like a pipe or that's been like instilled into the ground and it's so deep that whatever you pour in there is never gonna see the light of day again. And if it does, it's because you fucked up and you did something wrong or and it may not be because you did something wrong, because some women will do some um, things to hurt you and you know, they will want to bring something up to bring something to the light that just going to kill you, you know. And, you know, it doesn't mean that you're a bad person or you've done something fucked up incredibly wrong unless you've done something fucked up incredibly wrong. And it's like literally been proven. But, um, yeah. And, you know, they know how to, like, um, listen or, you know, they deal with the emotional, the, the psychological and men deal with like you know wars and you know day-to-day -day battles of like bullshit or just making money or and it's more than just making money because you still have to please her too it's just like that's that's like a man's schedule is just round the clock do for his wife do for his family do this and it just depends how's it going yeah, because you don't know if there's love there or not. You can't. You got to be able to see the love there, and if you can't see the love, then you know that that's not love. But yeah. So when a person like transgenders, you don't have the ability to be a woman because you couldn't change anything about a man's problems. And when I mean his problems, I mean the problems that men actually have. And it's more than just what men actually have. You don't have the power to be a comforter. You don't have the power to yeah, help somebody be strong. And it's like when I say be strong, like nobody in the world could change what they're thinking or what they're about to do. And that's, that's what I'm saying. The only thing that you can do for a man is, you know, you know, I... Uh, I don't even know what to consider it because you do do things for a man but you really you're just happily in love like oh you love this person so much but you're not going to prepare them for you know the afterlife 
or anything else. Just as long, long as all we're together and we die together, then that's what matters. But, you know, people have different religious beliefs. I don't know which way this is going. Is this going to Ken? I don't know, you can I don't believe that you can believe that you're a woman because you couldn't believe it because you weren't born with it. Something like that.